Welcome again friends. We are talking about the different mycotic infections and majorly we have talked about five different mycotic infections and their causative agents. But uh, among those five different mycotic infections, the most important and dangerous infections are uh, one is blastomycosis, another one is sporotrichosis. So you will be talking about blastomycosis and sporotrichosis separately. So let's talk about blastomycosis in this video. So we will be talking about blastomycosis. I remind you blastomycosis is a disease caused by fungi and the fungi in this case is blastomyces so the infecting infection causing agent is blastomyces blastomyces dermatitis. So this particular term is actually help us to understand the, this is related to dermatological condition that means the infection is kind of a cutaneous infection or skin infections right. So skin infection skin is associated with this blastomycosis actually blastomycosis is a very very serious and severe kind of uh, uh, anti severe kind of fungal infections actually because it can infect almost every single tissue in human body okay because there are majorly four different types of blastomycosis that usually uh, seen and first of all which is the most common kind is the cutaneous one cutaneous one so cutaneous blastomycosis is a type of first stage during this particular disease so let me write this is the first stage first stage of the infection and during this phase of the infection almost 70% of the patient witness this particular symptoms so almost 70% patient get this infection and uh, the symptoms for this uh, is uh, flu like symptoms uh, so actually flu and also pox like symptoms that means you can see the blisters in the skin and there will be rashes, maculopapular rash start to form and itchiness is always there, nausea, vomiting is associated. So this is the basic and first stage of the blastomycosis which is cutaneous in nature. Now if you move to the second stage of this kind of infection and it can spread through your bone. So it is a osteoreticular. So let me write osteo reticular blastomycosis and this is the second stage I remind you this is the second stage of the infection and almost 10 percent of the of of the individual get on to this particular stage if it it is not treated earlier it comes to the bone level now to the bone level it actually attacks several region of your bone like spine it can attack your fever a femur sorry the, which is a longer bone it can attack your rib your pelvic bone and so many other bones of your body and not only it infects the bone but uh, along with the bone infection it also infects the soft connective tissues associated with the bone associated with the bone so they are infecting all of them so as a result of this soft tissue attack and also they kind of make uh, damage of the soft tissue so this tissue is necrosis can also be seen so swelling of the joint results in this particular situation joint pain and inflammation or swelling is associated so this particular condition is termed as arthritis and it is called mycotic arthritis so let me write it is called mycotic arthritis and this thing is caused by this uh, blastomycosis okay that's the second uh, stage now the third important point or, or another way of spreading the infection is the pulmonary which is the most common for many other type of mycosic infection so pulmonary blastomycosis now in pl pulmonary blastomycosis they attack the lung and lung tissues right so attack lungs and lung tissue it cause difficulty in breathing 
lung even in, in fact in, in fact even the lung failure can be result there and most of the time the symptoms are flu like so symptoms symptoms are flu like and also tuberculosis like so people many times uh, com confuse all those symptoms with tuberculosis like uh, difficulty in breathing sputum formation and uh, long uh, high duration sputum the sputum color is going to be changed this pus smelling sputum coming out blood is coming out of the sputum so all this tb like symptoms are observed and also there are fever vomiting nausea myalgia these things are associated like the common flu like symptoms symptoms but the condition is slightly different in this case because if it is uh, remain untreated it can cause chronic lung infection or chronic lung disease like respiratory distress syndrome rdt or uh, sorry rds not t respiratory distress syndrome rds or it can also cause uh, copd or chronic obstructive pulmonary dysfunction so these are the different dangerous symptoms uh, regarding pulmonary infection can result if it is remaining untreated but this type of conditions can be easily visible using a x-ray film okay and it can be differentiated from the tb looking at the x-ray film and the fourth one which is kind of rare it is called the mixed blastomycosis mixed uh, blastomycosis In this mixed type of blastomycosis, they actually can uh, cause infection in different tissues like testis, genitals, urinary tract, epididymis. So, so epididymis and many different places. If it causes infection in epididymis, then it can result in sterility of the male, right? And also at the end, it can co also call uh, cause the brain abscess. The brain abscess can also be caused there. Right, so you can see that uh, not a single tissue is left in your body where this blastomycosis infection is not spreading. It is actually spreading everywhere, literally everywhere. That's why it is very, very dangerous. So you need to detect it. For the detection, you need to go for tissue biopsies. You need to go for uh, the standard uh, silver staining of your samples and many other stainings. You can look for serological tests. And many things. Now, if you look at the treatment for this process, if you look at the treatment, which is very, very important to treat this kind of infection, so treatment is very much necessary. So, for the treatments here, people can use, and mostly in any kind of this this type of uh, mycosis, people always rely upon systemic systemic antifungal drugs systemic antifungal drugs and systemic antifungals in all these cases examples of systemic antifungals are ketoconazole then fluconazole these are all imidazole group type of antifungal agents and they actually blocks the synthesis of argosterol from lanosterol and this important process is blocked by this ketoconazole fluconazole that's why they block the pro pro production of argosterol and what we know in all fungi argosterol plays a vital role to produce their cell membrane so they usually uh, present in the cell membrane to give the cell membrane integrity and structural property so as the production of cell membrane important component argosterol is halted uh, those fungi actually die so those important task is brought about by this type of imidazole group like ketoconazole, fluconazole, uh, antifungals. Except uh, along with that, people can also provide uh, provided with immunotherapy uh, for the immunopositive patients in that case. And also people can take vitamin D3, vitamin D3 as the supplement in case of those. Uh, in case of remember the the osteoarticular. Uh, blastomycosis where uh, it is traveling the bone people can take vitamin d3 as a supplement there okay so these are the different way of how it infects and how to treat the infections but i must tell you that it require a very very long time to reco recover from all these conditions so these are the complications of the body and we need to take care of them as quick as possible so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful thank you